Binge the full week of The Ray Taylor Show ad-free over at InspiredDisorder.com slash plus. This is The Ray Taylor Show. Ray's Days, episode 183. This is a weekly diary podcast hosted by me, Ray Taylor, where every Saturday I share updates on my journey as an artist, podcaster, business owner, and human being. I'm excited to share my experience with you and hope that my journey can serve as a source of inspiration and positivity for you. In this episode, I am talking about changes that are coming to InspiredDisorder.com slash shop. The place where I sell not only my original artwork, my art prints, but also merchandise, clothing, things of that nature. My thoughts, I'm also going to be talking about my thoughts on doing the Ray Taylor Show themed months. For example, horror in October and Christmas in December. I'm also going to be talking about some The Many Faces updates. I'm going to be talking about some user-generated content updates. I'm also going to be talking about my week in general, my mental health in general. As always, at the end of every episode, I will be sharing something that I am thankful for. So let's get this show started, shall we? Starting off with Inspired Disorder. I plan to make some changes to the store. Inspired Disorder store. Uh, basically, uh, I'm, I'm making things more limited runs, right? Uh, there's going to be less choices, which is going to be a good thing because choices tend to, uh, you know, discourage people, overwhelm people. Uh, the, the, uh, I forget there's a term for it. Uh, and the reason why stores like, uh, Trader Joe's and Costco and things like that don't have a wide selection of choice, uh, and are very successful in their business models. So. I'm going to be, and also it just, you know, it not only will clean things up a little bit more, but also make the products like shirts, let's say, right? I'm going to be doing limited runs of shirts and other merch. So let's say there's a design or a couple designs, a few designs. I'll put them up. I'll design the shirts, post it on social media. Hey. I'm going to be posting these at this time. These shirts will be available to sell, to purchase through this time and this time. And once the sale's over, the sale's over, you'll never be able to buy those shirts again. Right? So if it's a design you like, now is your choice. Now is your chance. There will never be another chance. Once they're gone, they're gone. But there will always be new designs. However, if you have a favorite and it's up, now's your chance. So limited runs, shirts, other merch, things of that nature, uh, just less options in general, streamline everything. Uh, and uh, yeah, so that's something that I plan on doing, which will start by just a lot of the stuff that's there is just not going to be there anymore. Um, so if there's something, go to inspiredisorder.com slash store now. If there's anything you want that's there, now's the time to buy it uh, because it may not be there pretty soon because that's uh, something I'm planning on doing. I don't know how soon that will be. I still have hundreds, thousands of paintings that I need to probably won't do thousands, but hundreds of painting uh, posts that I need to update uh, with the updated prints that are available. So kind of streamlining everything, making things more valuable, more limited, uh, more special. So that updates, inspiredisorder.com slash store. Also, uh, this show, last week I recorded on a Monday. I think I mentioned it uh, when I was recording. Uh, just a bit out of it. Totally out of it. Didn't feel like... It's been a weird few weeks. I took another week off painting. I'll talk about that, too. Uh, but, yeah, starting off my week, recorded on Monday, which felt weird. Um, but also, 
I wanted to talk about in relation to this. Just, you know, just uh, what it's like, what it feels like doing these themed months. And I, I enjoy doing these themed months. Don't get me wrong. I don't plan on stopping them. If anything, it would be fun to find other ways to theme a month around the movie reviews that I do and top five lists that I make uh, for the, those two different podcasts. Um, and I love horror movies in general. And I review horror movies throughout the year, not just on October, but I do love to dive into horror pretty hard in October. And I have done so really hard this month, uh, this year. Uh, I mean, the pre-code horror movie thing was a little, a little crazy. That was so much. Uh, that's why I decided to do another little five film franchise in uh the insidious which i had never seen any of those movies heard they're great uh watch those this week sunday that'll be my top five i'm ranking the insidious movies uh which are great movies i had a lot of fun watching those um but yeah i enjoy having themed months uh, last year was the first time i did the th the holiday theme you know, watching just same thing, kind of the same thing that I do in October. I try to watch new movies that are released in the theme. So October horror movies, uh, new Christmas movies, any kind of new holiday movie, Christmas movie. Watch that, review that. Also like to go into classic movies, maybe that I haven't seen, review, talk about. And then what I really love is the top five list, either doing franchise, not a whole. I don't think there's barely any franchises in Christmas movies, uh, but there are themes within that that I will do more subgenre stuff like, uh, you know, there, I might actually I'm thinking about probably will do like horror themed Christmas movies, which there are plenty of those. Um, I mean, there are, I think Silent Night, Deadly Night is a five film, at least franchise that, uh, is a blend of Christmas and horror. Um, also the Black Christmas. I don't know how many Black Christmas movies there are, but there are plenty of opportunities and horror is a genre that is pretty good with sequels and franchises and stuff like that. But, you know, talking about reviewing, watching classic films, um, and I did a lot of that last year. I'm going to hopefully do it. I don't know. I, I'm sure the holiday movie uh, selection is not as, you know, full as the horror selection as far as genres go. Far more horror movies than there are holiday movies. But I do enjoy it. Uh, but I do also kind of get burnt out, uh, especially this year. Um, and I think last year too, just watching so many horror movies, I am ready to watch something lighthearted, heartwarming, easy, breezy, not disturbing, uh, at least for a change, cleanse my palate, whatever. Uh, I've already started, uh, preparing for uh, November's first top five, which is going to be the Jason Bourne movies, which are great. I haven't seen them all, so I think I've seen the first two um, or first three and uh, excited to see how that franchise rolls out. But it's a short five film franchise action movie. I'm enjoying it. Uh, and uh, it's something that so much different tonally than horror movies, uh, which, you know, can be especially depending on how your mental health is if you're depressed and stuff like that sometimes it could be can it, it can only make things worse sometimes but a little burnt out ready to go which is crazy because i'm already moving on to november and it's not even halloween yet so by the time halloween actually gets here the day of that because of how i produce the show i will be done with halloween and horror movies before ha like a week before halloween's even here but i am excited next week there's a movie uh when evil lurks i think it's called i'm excited to watch that i've heard it's it's gonna be a heavy tough one but 
Uh, I'm excited to finish off the month of October strong. Um, and it's nice to do the... I do enjoy the, the themes because it's challenging trying to find either subgenres to rank movies in or franchises, uh, directors to review like Ari Aster. It was great to work out and finally watch Ari Aster's film who makes horror films. Uh, and then doing the dis the descent, which I'm doing today, uh, this week I did the first and I'm doing the sequel, which I've never seen next week. So it's, it's been fun putting it together, finding movies to review classic movies, contemporary movies, uh, foreign movies, silent movies, all those kinds of things. So it's it's pretty fun, and it it's kind of good, I guess, leading into November and then December to get more of the lighthearted, heartwarming stuff uh, to kind of get the other side of the coin from horror. And I, I might still do some Christmas horror. That, that would probably be fun to do because there's those movies. I've seen a couple of the Black, Black Christmas movies, and I don't know. I'd like to... Uh, there's there's some fun categories of Christmas movies and holiday movies that I'm looking forward to uh, coming up in uh, December. So I'm enjoying these. I would like to do another one. I had thought in the past at times to, to, to maybe do like a Valentine's Day one or New Year's, which New Year's can't really. I did do a New Year's themed top five last year of uh, top five new beginnings. That was fun to do. Uh, so, but I wouldn't, wouldn't be able to do a whole month on new year's, but you know, getting little themes here and there, I try to throughout the year. Uh, but it's fun. It's fun to change things up with the show, uh, formatting wise. As far as the many faces, I took another week off from painting. Uh, just, I woke, first off, I woke up Thursday with a, a crazy migraine, which it's, I get migraines every once in a while sometimes more often than other times but it's been a while since i've gotten one and i woke up with one thursday and it's just with the migraine it's like there's no relief there's nothing you can do to not be in constant pain and you just kind of have to wait it out in pain until it goes away um you know i could take ibuprofen things like that and eventually it works maybe ice packs tend to help very momentarily um and then when they're gone you're exhausted i'm exhausted and one i didn't know if it was going to go away in time for me to set up and paint uh thankfully it did it went away probably around noon but i was just absolutely exhausted i and just i you know i took a week off already and it was nice because i was able to get i uh, actually did get a lot of stuff done this week on friday which normally friday i would have been processing all the paintings editing the videos so it allowed me taking thursday off i was able to just rest and recover and then friday i had one of the most productive days i've had in a very long time so I don't know. I, I don't mind taking off weeks now for the paintings because I have so many available. It's just I don't have I just I'll just have a lot less social media content to post for like a week or two. But that's OK. And uh, I might do the same with this show, the Ray Taylor show um in maybe like january like just kind of plan a, a time to give myself a break from the show for at least a week at least a week maybe two weeks i don't know uh but it feels good to take a break not necessarily both at the same time usually when that happens it's because there's some kind of tragedy like your parent dying or something like that but uh or like equipment failure and I just had a computer does. I don't have a computer to do stuff, uh, but taking t breaks from either painting or the podcast, I think kind of helps keep me from feeling burnt out because I 
will push myself and have pushed myself for years. And what always happens is that I, I go hard until I just burn out completely. And then it's just like not wanting to do it at all. Just want to giving it up. So taking little breaks, uh, I think, is going to be a more common thing. Uh, but, you know, let's take a quick break from the show. Listeners, are you ready to take your experience with the Ray Taylor Show to the next level? Dive into Inspired Disorder Plus. For just $5 a month, you unlock a world of premium content that's sure to satisfy your every entertainment and artistic craving. Imagine enjoying the Ray Taylor Show, a full week, completely ad-free, in both audio and video formats. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. Get exclusive access to the live painting archives, be the first to lay eyes on new releases from the many faces, and enjoy members-only discounts and deals that'll have you coming back for more. With a treasure trove that includes a podcast back catalog boasting 14 unique shows and over 600 episodes. Personal insights through my own personal blog, creative writings to spark your imagination, and an interactive Ask Me Anything section. Inspired Disorder Plus is a feast for the curious mind. Ready to elevate your entertainment game? Head on over to inspireddisorder.com slash plus and become a member of an exclusive club. Dive in, indulge, and inspire your senses. Now let's get back to the show. This one, I wasn't planning on taking a break, but waking up with a migraine on Thursday, like it just, and it was like a residual kind of migraine. Like even when it was gone, like I still felt like all kinds of like sinus. I had like crazy pressure and my sinuses. I thought I was getting sick at the beginning of the week also. So it's just been kind of a a shitty week in general. So whatever I have over. 2300 paintings available original paintings available in prints so it's like you know if somebody goes to my website and i didn't paint anything this week they're probably not even going to notice so uh and i think what happened when my mom did die this past summer uh and i took i kind of stopped doing everything because i didn't know how i was going to handle all of this stuff uh, I had to get back into painting probably sooner than I wanted to because I needed to prepare for the group art show that was coming up at the end of summer. And then after that, I had to prepare for the live event that eventually got canceled, but I needed to prepare for that by getting prints ready. So that was a big thing. And then I had the painting that I had to get done for the museum, uh, thing so it was like doing abnormal extra projects in relation to what I normally do and I think it just one I came back a little bit sooner than I had wanted probably would have been nice to take another week or two off and just kind of process everything but I didn't and I had to get back into it and just kind of push because I know I can do that to get things done and I think I just needed a couple weeks off to just let things settle after I got all those other things done and then just get back next week by the time hopefully by the time this episode comes out I will have painted live on Thursday at 420 Pacific time p.m. 4 p.m. Pacific time Uh, and I will have processed and there will be new content coming out next week Um, because I don't there should be no reason why I take another week off. But it did feel nice to take the week off because my mental health has also been up and down and all over the place. So, you know, getting all those things done, uh, getting back to a normal routine, because it's not like I was just doing my normal routine. I was doing like these other things like oversized paintings, painting and acrylic, uh, doing scanning and printing, uh, prints. So just need a break, get back into the normal routine of producing. And then I think I should be good. Um, 
So it's a nice reset. And the podcast is pretty easy, right? Because that this has been back to once I started doing the podcast again. Um, it's just back to normal. Aside from a few technical upgrades, everything's pretty much the same. Producing it's pretty much the same. Preparing for it's pretty much the same. So it wasn't that much different. So just cont- this the, the podcast is on autopilot. My artwork was not on auto- autopilot, and it took up a lot of energy, and I think it burnt me out a little bit doing all those different projects. So I don't know. Getting back into it. Plus, I still want to get the TikTok shop up and running, right, to hopefully bring some sales through that as well. So it's it's also allowed me to get other things done, which is something that I did do this week. Um, getting a bunch of stuff done that's just been kind of sitting on my to-do list, um, and I just haven't had the time or energy to, to get into it. So those have been the updates as far as the many faces and my artwork and stuff like that. As far as UGC, another thing, like I got that one video done for the beard thing. I got all My website is up to date with all the newest user-generated content, whether it be the photos that I've taken or the many videos that I've done. Uh, there's one that I did not make the deadline and I tried to email them, but they haven't gotten back to me and I don't know what happens now. Uh, I will probably try and make the content early this week and, uh, send it to them. Cause it seems like the job is still open. It's just past due. They sent me the product for free, so it's not a situation where I bought the product and then they reimburse me when I deliver the the content, um, which I feel bad. I, I, I'll pay for the, the product. That's not a problem, but I just I haven't heard anything from them, and I don't really – this is my first – this is uncharted territory as far as uh, my – process is dealing this This is very unprofessional of me to miss a deadline i've never missed a deadline um but it was just it's a situation where the content that i need to make it's pranks because it's a it's a aztec death whistle and i need to prank people and people not here people sick people out of town i just haven't my whole mental health hasn't been in a place where setting up cameras to prank the people I live with (laughs) uh, have been, I just like, it's like, I just don't care. Like I will buy the product, whatever, cancel it, give me a bad rating, whatever you have to do. So I'm not sure what's going to happen. Hopefully by next week, I'll have an update to just let you know what happens if you miss a deadline um, and how that process goes, because you know, you never know until you do it the first time and then hopefully learn from it and don't do it again but because i think i tried to get back into that too soon as well like i just need to get back with my normal routines and not try and do all of these things all at once and just really see what i i really want to do so um kind of feel bad about my unprofessional behavior with the ugc stuff but you know it's on some level it's out of my hands but on a personal level the beginning of the week started feeling like i was getting sick like sneezing congestion i've gotten a lot of use out of this nasal i got this new nasal rinse thing that uses gravity it's it's so nice i used to have a squeeze bottle thing that i'd use which kind of sucked uh but worked i mean it was something this one it's like it's a bottle and then there's the little nose thing that's kind of got like a like a candy cane kind of hook to it. You tip it upside down. You put the, the nose thing in your nose. You got the bottle here. There's a little button on top of the bottle. And it when you hit the button, it allows air in. So gravity pulls the water down, shoots it through your nose and out the other nostril. Super nice, easy, comfortable. Works amazing. I've been using it like crazy uh, as air quality fluctuates where I'm at. Um, and usually this time of year is when, when the, when the seasons change, uh, when things start to cool down or when things start to heat up is when my allergies and when I, I more susceptible to getting sick. 
Um, so trying to avoid that, but just kind of felt like shit for most of the week. And it's like, like sneezing, runny nose, congestion, and then Thursday with the migraine where it just felt like my head was going to explode. Just a lot. Also, just super tired. Uh, just I just want to sleep, which is, you know, partially from not feeling well, but also partially just from depressed, not sleeping good in general. Kind of just feeling like garbage. And then we get a heat wave, which is like the one nice thing that was happening was that it was cooling down finally and I could open up the doors. I got a screen for the, the side door so I can get a little cross breeze coming in, get some actual fresh air in my studio. And then we get a heat wave where it's been 100 degrees all week. It, it cools down at night to where I can open things up. It gets down to like 80 degrees or whatever. But uh, I was really hoping to start putting blankets on the bed instead of just sleeping sleeping in my boxers. No sheet. A sheet would be too much. So this heat wave just sucks. Having to run the air conditioner all day long which sucks it's just loud and i don't know it's just like I, I thought i was done with the summer give me this break for fall and winter and then in a few months when it starts heating up again when i'm prepared and ready pre ready for it to heat up again then okay but whatever friday was a good day though rested thursday went to sleep super early thursday woke up friday felt pretty good and got so much stuff done. It was crazy. It was like anti-procrastination. Like, I would be doing a thing, and then I'd be like, well, if I'm going to do that, then I can do this and do this. I can do, like, I'm just getting, did so many things that were on. I didn't do all of the things on my to-do list, but I did so many things that weren't even on my to-do list, but needed to get done. So it felt so good at the end of Friday to not only feel good for once felt productive felt like i accomplished stuff um but actually felt good like i didn't feel depressed i didn't feel tired i didn't feel sick you know so friday was a good day friday was a good day um it was a nice refreshing change and if which is good because I felt like I was going in a, dep in a like a dep depression type of path. And it was like I pulled myself out of it. Right. I pulled myself, g changed the direction of where I was going. And it's something that I, you know, I guess I've gotten better at over the years, knowing how I fluctuate and just seeing the path of like being burnt out and tired and depressed and then just taking a break taking thursday off resting and then coming coming back positive friday getting everything done that i needed to get done uh it felt really good so maybe it's just learning for me learning how to pull myself out of those moments um and knowing when to take a break from stuff but, you know, part of the, the week, my mental health felt like depressed, felt like empty. Right. Despite the fact that there's like opportunities opening up, like the group art show and the museum exhibition and, you know, you just uh, new eyeballs on social media and, and different things. You know, it's I'm going in. A, I'm going in the positive direction, growing my artwork evolving my artwork but also getting my artwork in front of more people uh this podcast getting it in front of more people um i th hopefully producing a better quality constantly growing and producing better but you know despite all that i just felt like just empty just empty and uh you know you know, in in those moments, it's like you have those feelings of like, what's the point? Like when you feel empty, you don't have energy to do anything. 
And when you don't have energy and you're feeling empty, it's like, well, why am I even doing any of this stuff, right? And then just the brain function in general feels like scrambled eggs. So shitty start at the beginning of the week, was able to pull out of it Friday, had a good day Friday, had a decent day yesterday. I still have, like, my focus isn't there. I, I ha- I'm having a focus issue still. Distra- easily distracted. But at least, so maybe I'm, like, in a manic state right now. And that's, like, I flip from depressed to manic. I don't, I don't know. I don't know enough. I'm stupid. But that's kind of where I'm at. Trying, you know. That's, that's all I can do is just try. And uh, I, I'm at least feeling better despite the fact I'm distracted. and But at least feeling like, um, you know, a good direction. Let's take a short break from this episode. Hey, loyal listeners of The Ray Taylor Show. You know, it's one thing to tune in and engage with the content I passionately create for you. But what if I told you there's a way to wear your fandom? Introducing our exclusive line of merchandise inspired directly by the vibes and visuals of this very podcast. From stylish t-shirts that'll make you stand out in the crowd to our eco-friendly biodegradable phone cases adorned with artwork inspired by the show. You can now carry a piece of the Ray Taylor show wherever you go. Whether you're looking to make a fashion statement, protect your phone with some flair, or simply want to show off your love for the show, our merchandise has got you covered. Ready to rock our gear? Head on over to InspiredDisorder.com and get yours today. Wear the show. Be the vibe. Now let's get back to the show. But as I do at the end of every episode, I want to share something that I am thankful for. And at the beginning of the week... When I was feeling low, empty, depressed, I turned to what is new, my, one of my f- like new comfort shows. It's a show that has made me happy. It's a show that's made me cry tears of joy. Uh, It's a show that I absolutely love, and I put it on this week. I've been watching it this week as, like, my background show. The show I put on at the end of the night when I'm winding down, after I'm done watching any movie that's for the podcast, whether I'm reviewing it or watching it for a top five, after I'm done with that stuff and I just want to put something on to just kind of zone out and be happy or just zone out, wind down, turn my brain off or let my brain wind down uh this week that show and the thing i am thankful for this week is ted lasso i would not be surprised if i have been thankful for ted lasso in the past but darn it he helped me out this week i love this show so much i don't care what anybody's criticism of the show is valid sure i love this show i love the positivity of the show i love the the characters of this show it's just you know starting to rewatch it just to feel like make me feel happy make me feel anything than empty and depressed right which another show america's got talent not watching that one not watching the competition show Ted Lasso. I needed some people, some characters that I can watch and enjoy um, and just feel happy. A lot of happy tears, right? Uh, Added to some other emotional tears that I shed this week. Um, But I love the show so much. Ted, such a great positive leader, but all the characters are great. Uh, Even Nate, who has a great arc throughout the series, dipping into the dark side. I think his redemption arc back in the third season is, is wonderful. I love Roy Kent. His relationship with Keeley was so great. 
especially with his niece. Anytime his niece is in the show, I think it, those are great episodes. The Christmas episode is amazing. Danny Rojas, so much fun. Such a fun, positive character. Sam Obasanya, another great guy. Just a great guy. Right? Just a positive, happy guy that wants to do the right thing. And, you know, I love the, the episode where he stands up uh, against the team sponsor because of what they're doing in his country. And the team stands up against with him. Team stands in solidarity. I love that. Every aspect of the show, so great. Despite the last season kind of having the overlong episodes, trying to pack in so much. I don't care. Pack it in. It's a show that I will always go to as one of my feel-good shows, right? Watching the Diamond Dogs makes me feel good. The three fans and May, the pub owner, make me feel happy. Coach Beard, amazing. The, the, uh, his Crazy Night Out episode, so much fun. That was one that I watched that was on last night. I just great assistant coach and friend and the end of the final season when he we find out Beard's kind of origin story on some level when he goes to Nate so heartwarming I love I love the show so much uh, I'm like on the verge of getting emotional just talking about it right now uh, but yeah I love Ted Lasso and it's for me kind of medication it is anti-depress depression medication in a way that like there's shows like uh, america's got talent makes me feel feelings for sure but in a different way um parks and rec very similar but not quite like there's a lot of similarities i would say parks and rec and ted lasso as far as people being positive and wanting to do good things uh but ted lasso is one that like it's it's gonna be it's it's the go-to for me it is the go-to for me for sure it is my anti-depression medication watching ted lasso uh so yeah this week i'm thankful for ted lasso great show if you haven't watched it you like positive shows check it out i'm not even a soccer fan i could care less this show didn't make me a soccer fan i could still care less it's all about the characters. I love the characters, and, and I love the show. Upcoming events. Live painting every Thursday at 4.20 p.m. Pacific time. I paint live on YouTube.com slash Inspired Disorder. Come watch me paint. Listen to whatever podcast episode I'm listening to. Most of the time, it's all fantasy everything. Sometimes it's draft, uh, screen drafts, but I'm always listening to a podcast as to not get pulled down for copyright infringement, but also because I love podcasts as well. And those two podcasts are some of my go to happy, fun podcasts. I like to have fun and laugh while I'm painting and you can come listen along with me. Check out the new paintings every Thursday, 420 Pacific time, live painting youtube.com slash inspired disorder uh november 7th through january 27th of next year so starting this year all the way to january end of january next year i'm going to be part of the desert views exhibit at the la quinta museum in la quinta california so come by and check out my artwork along with all of the other artists that are participating in this exhibit at the La Quinta Museum, if you're in the Coachella Valley, Palm Springs area. I'm also going to be participating in the Love Local event, which is November 12th from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. in Indian Wells. Uh, January 20th is the artist reception for the Desert Views exhibit. So if you want to come and uh, check out the artwork and meet the artists, that is J January 20th. Uh, for details of all of those things, locations, times, all of that stuff, go to my website, inspiredisorder.com slash events 
for the details of all of my upcoming live and local events. I'm also thankful for the opportunity to connect with all of you through this podcast and for the chance to share my journey with you. Please join the conversation by leaving a comment or rating on your favorite podcast platform or over on youtube.com slash inspired disorder where all of these episodes are available. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you next Saturday for another episode of Ray's Day. Subscribe to The Ray Taylor Show on YouTube and everywhere podcasts are found. Binge the full week ad-free over at InspiredDisorder.com slash plus. Purchase Ray Taylor Show merch over at InspiredDisorder.com. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Peace out! Today Today is is the the day day where you wake wake up and you you realize realize that everything everything that you've been dreaming about, everything that you've been been wanting, every goal and and wish and hope that you've ever had can become real. Dreams can come true. What you manifest in your mind, you can bring to reality.